Hey guys, uh, Sam back with you here. This is uh, Litecoin. I so say so I'm here on uh, Monday, December 11th, uh, just to put a timestamp on it. So I've got the, uh, this is some members asking about uh, Litecoin to the US dollar on GDAX, Coinbase, that's the same data. That's how TradingView um, qualifies it. So look, so this thing is moving, it's starting to look like Bitcoin. So we're just in an absolute tear here, ripping higher. So when you see that, of course, you, you've got to step back. Uh, you've got to pull out to the dailies to get some sense of where you are. This is now, uh, you know, cl clearly we're in some, an impulsive move here. So you know, I'm, I, now this relative to uh, GDAX, I've gone, what, I, what I've done here is gone all the way back. Let me show you this. I've gone all the way back to the lowest low that I can find. So if I pop that up, here's the lowest low I can find. This is $3.26. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull all the way back here. So, you can, so I've wicked that as my low. So I can use my absolute low to start measuring. So if that's if that's my absolute low and now I've got a 1, 2, you can see, interestingly, right right to the Vegas wave. So let's, let's measure that up. So I don't need to go all the way back. I'm just going to get right on that yellow line up to my 1 high. Okay, so we can see on this one, well, here, here's our 61865. This likely... Mm. Well, we'd have to be one. So it, 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 what's relevant here? So as we look at this, we know that a two wave can go can go that deep, can go as deep as the 786. Here it goes just a shot. It's a little bit beyond the, the, the 618 that the 233 holds it. There's our one, two, and then take a look here now. So from that pull, here's our negative 23, negative 618. We get a little reaction, and now we're up at the negative 100 and seem to be pushing through that rather nicely. So given those as algo targets, we can do a little projection from our absolute low down here. If that's my one, and this is my two, well, look where we are. So we know statistically the highest probability zone is between the 1618 and the 175. Well, we're pushing up on the 175 as I record this here on Monday the 11th so we don't that that could easily blow through that but that's a reasonable target here for what now appears to be a one two three on the daily so you know when t until we know until we get a pivot there until we see signs of a correction right now there's no reason to anticipate anything other than uh, you know this this three you know may well continue to roll on here's the extreme so here's here's 200 percent two two seven and then all the way up here is the 2618, which would be the, you know, a true extreme for a third. So potentially, that's at 286. We may well be on our way there. So given that, that would get, you know, looking for a four and then a five would be, you know, well beyond that. So we'd be well over 300 there. So right now, we don't know. I mean, all I know is that I'm in a high probability zone, given the one, two, and measuring up to it. We're, we're right in that pocket there. It would be interesting to see whether or not we, we just blow right through it, head head higher, or whether or not we get a pivot there. Right now, we're pushing up on, uh, looks like we're pushing up towards, towards new highs again as I record this. So given that, we can't really do much here. You know, if you're in this, well, good for you, right? So, I mean, well, this has been a hell of a trade. So, all you can do now, you can you can start going down to the lower time frame. So, from the daily, I'd go to the to the four hour, and we looked at this the other day at the nice trade that was here. <clears throat> one two, then we had a one two three four, then a one. So, this has been relabeled repeatedly. So, right now, given that we're we're up here, so if I open this up. Excuse me. If I open that up, we have, if I had to put a count on this here, you know, likely this is a one, two, you know, this, this, this is likely another, uh, this is likely another one, two here, given how steep that is. And then a one, two. So from here, three, four, five, I'm just going to randomly throw those over there. Let's put it on a lower degree as we would be on a lower degree. Let's go to minuet there. So given that, we, th this is likely, now we've got another one too. So we, we, just as we've seen when, in, in, in Bitcoin, then when you see these kind of extreme moves, rather than just assume it's one, two, three, four, and we're putting in the five, we can see here that most likely, most likely this is an, yet another one, two. Right? So this is what you need to do when you've got these kind of extremes. There's our one, 
where's my two? Right, right, right to the 50. It looks like we went, well, we went right to the Vegas wave. So let me, let me measure that up. Looks like, where was my high here? Three, four, and some sort of five is coming. Let me fix that. So this, let's go, because we don't know where that's going to top. We just know on the daily we're a high probability zone. So I got to get this relabeled. So this is my three. Then we had this deep four here. We don't overlap the one. So likely we've just got a one, two. Well, we'll have to look at that. Three, four, let's put that in a different color and take it down a degree so we can get a handle on this. So that, you know, that's that's not unreasonable within the larger degree of 1, 2. Then we get another 1, 2. And then yet again, it looks to me like we have another 1, 2. So right now, we, it's just blowing and going. So there's no, you know, until we see a pivot, there's no really, you know, you're just going to have to, st st you know, sort of step back. If you're long, let them run. If you're, you know, it, don't be shy about taking some partials at some of these high probability targets. You know, nothing says we keep going, but right now it would appear that there's there's plenty of energy here to take this higher, right? But at some point, we're going to get the subdivision that works. We're going to see some divergence. Right now, it doesn't look like we're, we're likely going to see any here. So we've got just a, a little bit here, but this is not done yet. So not a lot of help from the oscillators here. We know we're running hot. So this could be our one, two, three, four, five of the third. But again, we, we can't call it until we can get a hard pivot, until we start to see an A, B. Until we get an A, B, and then a failure on the B to get to a new high, so we would get a lower high, which would imply potentially that we're starting the C wave and, and working our way into a correction. Right now, it's just you you, you got to wait. you got to wait and see where we ultimately see some profit taking, where we get a pivot. I mean, that's all you can do, right? So there is no opportunity here as we're screaming to new highs to, for a technical buy that would give you the kind of risk profile that, that I propose to you is, is what you want to look for. There is no way to buy that with a reasonable exit other than just using a random dollar amount, which now you're trading your pocketbook and you're not, you're not trading the market. So given that, you got to just let that run. You got to let that run until you get a pivot. And then you're looking for, on some degree, then you're looking for a fourth. Right, so it looks like we've already had the fourth here. So on the larger degree in green, if and when we get a pivot here for a third, maybe up here, maybe at 250. We don't know. But until you get a pivot that you can start projecting with, we can't even work the first retracement. We can't even get into, you know, if we've got a completed three, where's our two? Are we pulling from here? Are we pulling from here? I mean, this may yet be relabeled again for all we know. It's just... It's just ripping. It's just, you know, amazing to see. This is, again, this is why we're in crypto. So you, you just got you to sit tight and, and let that play itself out. Uh, wait for a pivot and then look for the fourth. That's all you can do. All right. So not a lot, not, not a lot to see there other than for, I know some of you are long here. You know, don't be shy about taking a little partial off the table. If you're going to let some run, you know, just be conscious of where you're hitting those potential technical targets. And I'm not saying, you, you know, you, you empty everything there. But as you approach those, those, the, those technical extremes, be conscious of the fact that you may well see a reaction there. And that might be a place to, you know, maybe take another partial profit and then continue to let a little bit more running run because there's, there's no telling how far we're going here. All right, guys, I'll wrap on that. Keep this one short since the Bitcoin one uh, ran long. Okay, that's it for now.